In this lesson, I'm going to show you how easily change the background color. Just before we start, I want to remind you that I just posted my color grading course. So if you are interested, the link is in the description. And right now, let's start working with this image. So usually when we have such a task as changing the background color, the color will not be very different. It will be quite silly to change the background color from green to red, for example, because the difference is too big. So more likely it will not look very nice. So when we have such a task as changing background color, we usually look, look somewhere near. So if we're changing the color for rather similar color, there is a very simple way how to do this. Of course, I'm going to work with adjustment layers, but there is many other ways to do this just by using masks. I'm going to start with selective color because this is the easiest one. I'm going to name it as a number one. And most important thing for me right now is to choose right mask. I'm going to do this when we have solid background. I'm going to select and then I'm going to choose color range. In the color range, one thing you have to do, we have to just use this select as a sampled color and use this eyedropper and choose the area of the image we want to change. Also, you can use this plus eyedropper to increase the range a little bit, but be really careful because as you can see, you can affect also other areas. So I would rather stay careful with this and try to not choose really wrong area. I'm going to go with this. It's a quite wide range, but we will see how is it going to work for us. And simply, uh, once again, if, uh, as you can see, our background is somewhere between blue and cyan. So I will be working with these colors for my selective color. So simply just by moving the sliders, um, all of them, actually, you can just experiment. I will not be going into details like taking down the yellow color brings up more uh, blue color. Uh, actually, this color is even more suitable for this image. Um, it wasn't really perfect. And one thing you can notice right now, I'm changing the value of the light. So if you don't want to do this, change the blending mode from normal into color. So let's change the color. Don't keep it the same, actually. So just randomly choosing a few. Also, I'm going to play a little bit with cyan. And with these few simple steps, we change the background color from blue to green. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can take even more drastic changes um, but it's up to you how it's going to look later, if it's going to be natural or not. Uh, if you, I would like to do more changes, I'll just press Command and hit on this mask that is already made over here, and then go, let's say, with Color Balance. I'm going to name it as a number two, and work it with Color Balance simply with midtones, uh, just to adjust my color even even better. We could even probably get some around the yellow, but it's very strong again, so change the color. Uh, better to be really careful with uh, color range. Um, I'm sorry, color balance, of course, because as you can see, the effect is uh, truly strong. So that might be a little bit uh, too much Maybe the shadows could work a little better because this is actually shadow area. So if I would like to go with uh, even stronger uh, green color, I would increase, of course, yellows over here. But this is uh, this would be up to you uh, the way you would like to go. But uh, simply speaking, this is probably the easiest way for me uh, of changing the background color once we have the solid color on the background and not many other different colors. Thank you for watching. Check description and I'm going to speak to you once again very soon. Thank you.